he is wonderful. Yes, he is. Very giving, uh, time to God, he has the universe, uh, cast the game, uh, just the game, to my colleagues uh, in the ministry, uh, those pastors, Pastor Johnson, Pastor Smith, uh, Pastor Mason, Pastor Nelson, and Pastor Wallace.
in the end of the book of Job because we got to remember, in the beginning of the book of Job, Job has no idea of the remaining chapter. He doesn't know what's going to happen. Right? In chapter 1, God pulls down the curtain and allows us to see inside the veil. And so we know that the Son of God has presented himself before God and that Satan came off. And then God asked Satan the question, where you been? So I've been going to and fro, in and out in the earth. God said, well, have you considered my servant? No. But see, Job has no idea that this conversation has taken place. What I love about it, Pastor James, is that God asked the question, have you considered my servant, Job? What's that? Now, we know that Job was the leading citizen in the land of Ox. Yeah. Yeah. Job was the mayor of the parish president of the land of Ox. But he does not say, have you considered Job the leading citizen of the land of Ox? Uh, he doesn't say, have you considered Job who uh, right. he should on the cover of four and people magazine. Uh-huh. He doesn't say, have you considered Job who won uh, the Grammy, the Oscar, and the BET award? Uh-huh. He said, no, have you considered Sir, 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 yo, yes, sir. Sir, that's all I want to hear today, sir. Sir, yo, yo, well done. Thank you, God. I'm going to take you back for a little while. I'll take you back a minute. Growing up uh, as a kid in a class, uh, me and and, and my siblings, we grew up in Providence after church, and. At the Providence Baptist Church, my grandfather was a deacon. Uh, he and Pastor Sam John baptized me when I was six years old in the Mississippi River. And he was also the church president. He would collect uh, the offering at the end of the service, put it in his briefcase with his pistol, <laughs> take it to the bank, and nobody does not think about taking government. <laughs> and in all those years, my grandfather never lost one penny. My grandmother was president at the game of the Usher Bowl. Faye, Jean, Laura, I know y'all can still see her. White hat, white dress, white shoes, giving her determination. Don't pray that I live alone. Don't pray that I die soon. Just pray that I will stay on the mountaintop and go home and see God for myself. And I can still see where I'm on it. Now, my mama uh, was superintendent of Sunday school in Providence, still is, I think, and she was the one who would take us to Sunday school uh, and at least make sure that we went. My daddy never stepped foot in church. <laughs> Didn't want to hear nothing about church. Wild horses couldn't drag me to church. But it's ironic that I learned to pray when I was with my dad, even though my grandparents and my mother were the ones that took me to church. Uh-huh. So I said, well, how did you learn to pray with the dad? And my dad wasn't even saved at the time. Well, <laughs> most of the time I spent uh, with my dad, we spent fishing on the weekend. My dad loved to fish, he always kept a boat. We would go to Belleville, uh-huh. Shell Beach, Pierpoint, mm-hmm. 21 inch canal, 16 inch canal. Lake Correct, Lake Frenier, Lake Country Train, Lunch at Blind River, Lunch at Frenier, Lunch at Kenner, Lunch at, Lunch at Rudock. Uh, we would fish all over the place. Uh-huh. <clears throat> well, one day we were fishing uh, off of the backwaters of the Bell River, uh, over around the Fulton River. And Bell River is a large river, the main channel is a large river. Uh-huh. But there's a lot of channels that go back into the swamp. So one day we were crossing the main channel of the Bell River, and right in the middle of the river. You know, Peter and John, they, they, Peter and John, the disciple, were trying to cross the lake, and the Bible says, as soon as they got in the middle of the lake, the storm was gone. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. So you know, it sits one way and half done the other way. You see, uh, the lake of Galilee, the Sea of Galilee, was six miles across. Mm-hmm. So they were three miles into the middle of the lake of Galilee. Yeah. And that's where the storm came. Yeah. Well, we were directly in the middle of Bell River, the main channel, when the engine went out. 
I was about 14 or 15. I didn't know nothing about fixing the boat anymore. So daddy was pretty much on his own. So he landed over the back of the boat for about 20, 25 minutes, messing with the engine. So I'm keeping watch on the horizon. <laughs> way, way, I mean, it was about this small, it was so far away. I could see something coming on the horizon. But the closer it got, past the end, the bigger it got. <laughs> and when it got close enough, Daddy's still, he's still unaware that this, this ship is coming. I said, Daddy, I said, what is that? <laughs> he said, boy, that's a bar. <laughs> he said, grab that pedal. <laughs> so I grabbed the pedal. He said, Rock, stop playing around, faster. <laughs> so he went around, he gets the trolling motor start. And we just barely get out of the way of that boy. I never told my mama that story. <laughs> we just barely get out of the way of this barge and this ship uh, right before it hit us. And the barge was so tall that the people standing on the platform never even noticed how the boat was down. <laughs> so we use the trolling motor. We get to the bank. And as soon as we get to the bank, I dive off the boat <laughs> on the ladder. And so Daddy, he gets the motor running. He said, okay, right. I got the motor, I got to have the motor back running. He said, let's go, we're going fishing. So Daddy, I'm not getting back to the <laughs> I said, but you don't realize. I said, yeah, while we were paddling, trying to get to the left, I said, I had already made it to you with God. I said, God, if you ever get it done, I'll be back on God's ground. I said, I ain't never been to the So I'm running up the left, he said, boy, come back and get me the boat. What are you doing? I said, I'm going to hitchhike. <laughs> He talked about it in his book. But I did not really learn to pray in church. I, I could tell you more stories, but I don't want to take up your time. But I really learned to pray uh, fishing in all these different waterways. Uh, my head. The book of Job reminds us that life happens. And that there is a cosmic conflict going on behind the scenes that we usually don't know nothing about. We also wonder why God allows something and we question the goodness of God. We say that life is not fair. We don't think it's fair that, you know, uh, one kid, uh, one graduate from high school and the other one graduate from college. We think it's not fair that somebody's unemployed and somebody else is making a six-figure salary. We think it's not that. One person has a bull flesh body, and the other person uh, is struggling from some type of disease. Life just does not seem to be fair. And sometimes we question the integrity of God. Uh -huh. Family, we have to learn to see God in our situation. Yeah. See, no lost all of his material possessions. He lost his health. And he lost all of his ten children in one day. But the Bible never says that God, that Job never questioned God or, or charged God truly. He never asked God, God, why me? No, no. Matter of fact, when Job's wife came and said, why don't you curse God to his face and die? Job said, you don't sound like my wife. You speak like one of the foolish ones. Foolish. Job yes, said, shall we receive good at the hand of God and not evil? Job said, the Lord give it and the Lord take it away. Yeah. But bless it, he the name of the Lord. As a matter of fact, the Bible says after all this happened, that Job sat down in action and worshiped God. Yeah, yeah. The reason Job was able to worship is God, he could see God moving in his situation. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Now watch this. Job lost his seven sons and three daughters in one day. One day. And at the end of the story, come on. The Bible says God did Job twice as much as he had in the beginning. Yeah. And when a preacher preached that, we shout and we get happy. But you, you got to think about that for a little while. I want each of you to think about that for a little while. Which one of your children would you give up so you can get twice again? 
Think about that for a minute. Some things are just irreplaceable. Yes. And let me tell you, Ted Nicholas is irreplaceable. If I could get 10 more in his place, it still would be 10 cheap copies of a great original. Ah, yes. And let me tell you, I never wanted to be nothing but a Nicholas. I, I don't know that you, you know, some people want to be uh, doctors and lawyers and uh, astronauts and this and that. I never wanted to be nothing but a Nicholas. Now, in fact, when I graduated high school, my mom gave me a plaque. And I gave one to my son when they graduated high school. It said, Nicholas, you got it from your father. It was all he had to give. So it goes to you and cherish for as long as you may live. It was good the day you took it. It was a worthy name to bear. When you got it from your father, that was your design there. If you lose the watch he gave you, it can always be replaced. But a black mark on your name can never be erased. This story is going to be So when all is said and done, you'll be glad that name is spotless when you give it to your son. Your hope, trust in God. Your Believe in God. Yeah. Job, after he had lost everything, Job fell on the ground, worshiped in action. Job said, All the days of my appointed time I'll will I wait till my chance comes. Yeah. Then Job moved down to chapter 19, and Job gave his testimony. Job uh, said, For I know yeah. that I'm going to be living. Yeah. And that he shall stand on the last day yeah. Yeah. and go after. My body. Yeah. After my sin, where I destroyed my body. Yeah. He said, Yet yeah, in my flesh shall I see, shall I see God. Not another. And my eyes shall be whole for myself. Yeah. And not another. Yeah. Oh, church. All I want to say is that I can want to see God. Yeah. 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 I just want to see people. Yeah. I just want to see the man who got it. Yeah. yeah. I just want to see the man who died for me. Yeah. Out there on the yeah. I want to see grandma. I want to see Paul. I want to see Mark. I want to see Daddy. I want to see all that right before me. Oh, I want to see me. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 In my flesh uh -huh. shall I see God. Yes. And I, I asked him about, I said, Joe, how that gonna happen? Right. And so my imagination worked with me. Uh -huh. One day, Joe was gonna die. Mm -hmm. And the preacher was gonna come and say, ashes to ashes, and dust to dust. Yeah. And all the people were gonna show up at Joe's funeral, trying to say what a good fellow he was. And after the repast, and they eat up all the fried chicken what? and the potato salad, Come on here. they were going to load your body into the earth. Lord. And one day, the worm was going to come and eat your skin. Yeah. So after my skin, then they're going to eat my body. Then they're going to eat your body. But one day, God caused the rain to come down. Uh. And forced the worm to come to the top of the ground. And there's a frog hopping along. Uh -oh. And he eats the worm. Let's go. And he goes and hops into the creek. Yeah. But there's a trout swimming in the creek and he eats the frog. Uh -huh. But Thank there's you. an eagle flying over up the lake. Yeah. And he stops the trout and he yeah. swoops down and he swoops up the trout. <laughs> but one day the eagle gets careless and there's a fox in the brown pan. And he hops out and he eats the eagle. But one day the fox gets lazy. And there's a bear in the jungle. And the bear, he eats. The fox. Yes. One day the bear gets off, and there's a lion who fox him. He's the king of the jungle. Yeah. And he eats the bear. Yeah. But there's a hunter in the jungle, and one day he killed the lion. Yeah. But how do you know that when Jesus comes back and he yeah. cracks through the sky, yeah. the lion is going to have to deal with the bear. Yeah. The bear is going to have to deal with the fox.